Hello, everybody. Sinesk111 here. And welcome back to the final part of this run of Oxygen Not Included. This part is gonna be all about exploration. See what I... Trying to see what my duplicates would have saw if I decided to go further in this run. I'm not going to care about my duplicate's well-being at this point. I just want to go into the unknown, since this is going to be the last part I'm going to do of this run. After I'm finished here, I don't think I'll be playing any more Oxygen Not Included for a long time. I'll still do more runs, but only after I build up enough experience to do that. And the transit tube. I bet there are going to be several requirements for me to build that. Yeah, plastic. Who would have thought? I'm gonna make some... Immuno boosters to help my duplicates not contract any diseases that they may find down here. I completed some research. Now what's standing in my way? Jetpacks. So jetpacks and introductory rocketry are the only two things keeping me from seeing the planetarium in action. I think maybe I could put in another uh, research station or a supercomputer to make the researching process go faster, but I don't have enough room for that. And my duplicates aren't willing to build it right now since it's their downtime. Just wanted to see what the transit tube access looked like. Uh, once again, the the reason why I'm doing all of these runs, runs in Oxygen Not Included is because I want to build up the knowledge that I need for future runs that I do of this game. Because I'm still far from an experienced player. Still not very experienced at this game. It's going to take years and years of practice, I think, to have my colony achieve the home sweet home or the great escape ending, one or the other. Yellow. None of my duplicates are sick from slime lung, surprisingly, yet. Oh, 
look, look at how much carbon dioxide has accumulated down here by this cool steam vent. It'll be a while before I see a cool steam vent erupt. I'll just let it take its own sweet time. Anytime. Nah, uh, it's just... Just a waste of time. It's 426 seconds every 733 seconds. And now my colony's unpowered. So, I'll need to get some... I'll need to get enough coal for my duplicates to last the rest of this part. Means I'll have to take out this wall and dig in here. water. Although I've done pretty bad at this run throughout the end of this playthrough, I do want to say that the developers of Oxygen Not Included really did a lot to this game. And I mean it when I say that. Like, for example, for when you want to put it in order for a certain amount, you just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. But if you want them to do it throughout the... But if you want them to produce orders of a certain thing throughout the playthrough, you could click forever, and duplicates will periodically put out those orders forever. That's the best I can put this. I'm not good at explaining many stuff, so just just roll with it. Oh, what's this? A poke shell. Poke shell. And it's looking hungry for some duplicate meat. I'm not letting my duplicates anywhere near that thing. Even if you paid me to do it. Well, in any of the future runs that I do. So, this is apparently a salt biome. I don't think I've seen a salt biome in any 
playthrough of this game I've had. My duplicate. I have another duplicate skill. Pro Wulu. You can be a digger. A hard digger. It's gonna be long and hard, but whatever I see in this world will be worth it. It makes it worth it, I meant to say. All the water is... Almost all the water is now out of this pool. I want to start exploring what's up here. And maybe a little to the left and right. Although, I don't think the left and right is going to be very likely at this rate. I also like how different colors can change with different gases, but not the textures. It doesn't look like... Just wanted to, just another thing to point out why I like how the creators of the game made it. Okay, introductory rocketry. The only thing holding me back from seeing the planetarium in action. So I'm apparently almost to getting to see that happen. Perhaps I might get to see it in use this run after all. I hope. I'm crossing my fingers on this one. Oop. Need a ladder. My duplicates are gonna be fine for the rest of this run. This is gonna be the last part I'll do of it. I still need to build up knowledge for future runs. Blitbug is now food poisoned. I'll just set the production quantity to forever. How about that? Cancel that. 
Marshall on that one. I'm at 16 minutes. They're making some good progress on the rocketry, on the introductory rocketry research. Okay, so what bug is cured now? That's good. submit a bioscan and have my duplicates look in here because I need to get my duplicates exploring in one way or another. I just hope it doesn't have monsters. journal inside remains mostly intact. I scanned the pages of use. New database entry recovered. I inspected the vending machine and found this. Personal journal B835. I started work at a new company called the Gravitas Facility today. I was nervous. I wouldn't get the job at first because I was fresh out of school and I was so, so, so pushy in the interview. But the director apparently liked my thesis on the psychological thermal regulation of arctic lizards. I'll be working with some brilliant geneticists, bioengineering organisms for space travel and harsh environments. It's like a dream come true. I get to work on exciting new research in a place where no one knows me. Go away. No, 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 no! It can't be! Van He Ansari is here, working on space shuttle thrusters in the robotics lab. As soon as she saw me, she called me Bubbles and told everyone about the time I accidentally inhaled a bunch of fungal spores during lab, blew a big snot bubble out my nose, and then squeezed and then sneezed all over Professor Avery. Everyone's calling me Bubbles instead of Doctor at work now. Some of them don't even know it's a nickname. But I don't want to correct them and see them rude and seem rude or anything. Ah, uh, I can't believe that story followed me here. Van he ruins everything. Wow. That is okay. So I can check the database to reread whatever I have found. Apparently, this all ties into some kind of hidden storyline in Oxygen Not Included. But I'm not going to have the mind power or the training to inspect what this storyline is. 
And I also don't want to spoil what else the storyline might contain. So I'm going to end this runoff here. Oh, you're so close to finishing the introductory rocketry. I'll finish this run after the next day and then I can then I can call it an oxygen not included run. Then I'll have to work on my skills for future oxygen not included included runs. Sorry, I just burped. Ooh, barbecue. Ooh, now I have the hiccups. And it's saying up here that I have a new log entry. It's just what I read earlier. Nothing really of interest. And my colony has apparently earned another achievement. Ghosts of Gravitas. Recover a database entry by inspecting facility ruins. Wow, the carbon dioxide is really starting to pile up. I'm not going to do anything about it since this is going to be the final part that I do of this run. Hopefully they can have the introductory rocketry research done by the end of this day so I can see the virtual planetarium in action. They're going to get it done. I know it. Yep. At this rate, they are going to get it done. One more. Yes! Alright. Now it's time to see the virtual planetarium in action. I have to have a data... Oh my gosh. No. Nope. 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 I am not doing that. Where am I even going to get a data bank from? Do I get it from, uh... And I have to use the telescope in space. Oh, this is bullcrap. No, I'm done. No more. That's it for this run. Oh, man. Oh. Man, I'm really wishing I didn't have to do this, but things are getting so complicated that I don't have the willpower to keep up since it's my first time seeing this. But one last time, the reason why I've been doing these runs is to build up knowledge for any future runs that I do. And... And I'm deciding to end this run because my colony is doing a... doing a very crappy job of keeping up with the environment and managing its resources. But I know it's partially my fault too, since I've been telling them to I've been telling my duplicants to do it this way. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. 
Um, I know I said that I'm not going to be doing any runs of Oxygen Not Included for a long time, but rest assured, there will still be more runs of Oxygen Not Included, though I'll have to play a little bit more of this game on my own time, since I need training, clearly. I need to know what a data bank is, I need to know how to properly place my Atmo suits in near Atmo checkpoints and whatnot. But that was my Pokemon Sword and Shield themed Oxygen Not Included run. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright. I think that's going to be it for this part, this final part of this run of Oxygen Not Included. So, may I finally say, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in another playthrough. Bye!